You know, every player I've talked to today, they rave about the organization, of course your energy, like Tim mentioned, but just the fact they can't wait to get here just to see, you know, what's going to happen. <laughs> well, and you know too, Crocky, I mean, look, this is serious business, and, you know, you got to make sure that you don't cross the line between having some fun and, and, and being serious about it. Uh, about what's important, and I think, I think I've been able to do that with with keeping the lines of communication open, having fun with these guys, but also driving home the points, whether it's fundamentals or whatever, so that so that we make sure that we, that we concentrate. And I can't wait to get here every every day because uh, every day is a new thing. You know, you get into this routine everybody talks about, but the routine is all of a sudden there's some, an issue today here or with this player or that player. And the challenge to me is not to figure out what my lineup's going to be. I mean, we're going to look at numbers, we're going to look at matchups. Uh, plug the guys in that are doing the job every day and do it. But the bigger thing is is the daily stuff one on one with your players and, and especially your bench guys. All right. When you walk down the street in Chicago, does everyone know who you are now? <laughs> yeah, they ask me if I'm still riding the CTA, <laughs> and the answer is yes. And uh, I love the trains and buses there. I mean, I don't care. So, but yeah, um, I had a, a, a you know a real nice story when I first came in following Lou, and uh, some people were on the platform at the, the red line and said, uh, you know, I heard him talking. And, so finally, whoever drew the short straw came over and said, you know, are, are you Mike Waddy? And I said, yeah. He said, you know, what are you doing here? And I said, well, Wrigley's right there, and it's right on the Addison platform. I go, I work right there. You know, he goes, no, no, I know. He goes, I'm in here. And I, he said, riding the train. And I said, man, I've been riding the train for 30 years, and I'm not going to change it. But, you know, I'm born and raised in that area. Uh, I love it there. The people have been great. I'm easy to recognize. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more than I'm accustomed to, but it's okay. Right. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. And your rotation this year. We let's go get into the nuts and bolts of right. this thing. Your rotation, pretty set for the most part. Some battles for four and five. Right. Yeah, Rocky. And and uh, you know, look, Wellesley and Silv did a nice job. You know, we see how Silv comes back off of, off of his problems late in the year. Um, and we're taking a look at Kashner and, and seeing if if you know if all that talent can't become a high end starter. And, and and we need you know we're looking at Russ to, to maybe go back and, and be a left handed guy for us. We bring Welly in. We bring Loop in. So there's. You know, and Casey Coleman finished up and did a great job. So there's plenty of competition, and, and you guys know too, that you know whether it's starting or whether it's filling in the back end of the bullpen. I mean, people are looking to make a club, so there's competition at the back end of the bullpen, I would say, and also in the, in the last two spots. All right, you signed Carlos Pena to play first base. He had a little bit of a down year last year. What have you talked to him about to try to get him back to where he was even two years ago? You know what? And I should say, well, I said this and this, and nothing. Right. I mean, he's such a good kid, and I do have a little bit of a familiarity with him in Oakland, and. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's the same message. Just, just relax, and, and, and he'll work to get better. He doesn't need me to tell him what to do. I mean, he's that kind of kid. So I hope his relationship with Rudy is good. It sure seems like it. Um, you know he's going to give you everything he got, he's got. He's going to be great defensively. He's going to be great in the clubhouse. So he just needs to get back to work. And I was, you know, I was amazed. It's like, I, you know, he had 104 RBIs, I think, last year and 30-ish and home terrible runs. Year. Yeah, terrible. That's awesome. what I said. I said, my goodness, you know, I mean, I'm okay with that, and, okay. but I know he, he'd like to put the ball and play more and, and build on that. How, so. how big is Ramos Ramirez for you? He's, he's huge. I mean, absolutely huge. Uh, he looks great. Um, you know, he's moving around. He's, I mean, the main thing, Crucky, is, look, this guy can hit. Yeah. We know that. Um, is he injury-free? Is he healthy? Um, and all of those things, the answer is yes right now. So I'm, I'm big about that. And, you know, they talk about don't put pressure on guys. No, 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 no. Those three guys that are kicking us off in the rotation, we made a decision the other day on, on that deal. They're huge. Rami's huge. I mean, you need contributions all over the mm -hmm. place, and we know that. But, but he, he's got to anchor the offense.